Do you want to be more productive using your iPhone? Your iPhone has a ton of hidden capabilities just waiting to be discovered. It's like a treasure hunt, and today I'm here to guide you through four amazing tips to boost your productivity. Plus, at the end, I'll share a couple of bonus tips that you'll wish you knew sooner. Last week while I was driving, I wanted to really make my time count, so I asked Siri to read a book to me, and she did a beautiful job. In the new versions of iOS, such as iOS 18, Siri offers premium, high-quality voices built right in, powered by advanced neural technology that gives them realistic intonation and pacing, more like a professional narrator. Because you know, it doesn't have to sound so robotic. I'll show you how to make a few simple tweaks so you can decide which voice is best for you. First, open Settings, type Spoken so that spoken content will appear. Tap Spoken Content, and we see a number of options. Tap Speak Selection and Speak Screen so that we turn both of those options on. We'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we have a turtle and a rabbit for speed of speech. Tap Voices, and you see all the various languages and voices. Now, if you tap English, for example, you'll see that you have rate, pitch, speech, volume, and equalizer if you want to change the EQ settings. Now, click on Voice at the top, and you'll see all the options for voices, including premium voices, which are quite good. For me, I actually use Siri Voice 1. So we'll choose that. Now let's go to Apple Books and give it a listen. Three, no flowers for poor Tommy Tucker and no more kicks out of life in Chelsea. I felt a sudden fleeting compassion for the Tommy Tuckers of today. Not bad at all. So now you see with a bit of setup that you can really make that commute time productive. Comment below and let me know which Siri voice you like to use. And don't miss that you can use it to read those PDFs and web pages as well. Research from the National Sleep Foundation and Harvard Medical School show that seven to nine hours of sleep can improve your overall focus, cognitive ability, and lead to higher productivity. I've often used the alarm clock feature on my iPhone to wake me up. However, it always seemed to blast me out of bed. Then I discovered a better option and a better app that was already on my phone. The health app allows for a gradual increasing alarm so that it doesn't startle me out of bed. It gives me flexible schedules and it ensures that I meet my sleep goals. Open the health app, click browse at the bottom right of your screen. Scroll down to sleep option, select that, then scroll down to your schedule. Click edit under your schedule and at the bottom you'll see alarm options. Tap that and set it to turn on tap sounds and haptics. There are a number of melodies and sounds that you can choose from, so let's sample it. You'll notice that these start soft and then gradually build, which is what I like, because they don't scare me out of bed. Please comment below and let me know what app you use to wake up with. In the past, every time I typed my email address or my mailing address, I lost five to 10 seconds of my life. Now I just type a couple of letters or characters and my address appears instantly. You should be taking advantage of this, and here's how. Open Settings, search for Text Replacement, click the plus sign, type in your email address, type in a shortcut. You can use a couple of numbers or symbols or characters, whatever you prefer. Click Save. And repeat these steps to create a shortcut for your mailing address. Now the next time you need to type out your email address or your mailing address, it'll be there instantly for you. I used to waste so much time looking through my phone just for an app or for a contact or even for a file in my files app. All that has changed. I've shaved off a lot of time with this next feature. Apple calls it Spotlight Search, and it's a game changer. Open Spotlight Search by simply holding your finger down in the middle of the screen and pull down and you'll find the search bar. Now you can type in the first couple of letters of an app to open such as typing AP for App Store. Once it finds it, you can simply click and open it. Another cool feature of Spotlight Search is that you can search for photos. Let's look for cheesecake. 
type in cheesecake and start scrolling down and you'll see images that you might have taken in the past. One more thing is that Spotlight Search will do some quick math for you. Let's say you're shopping for a $79 item and take 25% off. There's your answer. Pretty cool, right? Speaking of calculations, here's a tip I think you'll really like. Now when the waiter or waitress brings me my bill at the end of the meal, this is what I do. I just open the control center and with one click, enter the amount and then determine how much tip I want to leave. And there it is. The tip and the total are calculated for me. Let's set this up. Click on shortcuts. Tap gallery. Search tip. Choose calculate tip. Click add shortcut. Open the control center by dragging your finger from the top right corner of your screen. Hold your finger down in the gray area or click the plus sign in the top left portion of the control center. Click add a control at the bottom. Type shortcuts. Click the shortcut and click choose. And select the calculate tip shortcut. Now click in the gray area again and then again and there it is. So now next time you're at a restaurant, you can have your tip and your total calculated very quick for you. Have you ever been showing a photo to a friend and they ask you, where was that taken? And you said, hmm, I'm not really sure. Now you can wow them and impress them by showing them the exact latitude and longitude of where it was taken. Go to the shortcuts gallery, which is at the bottom right of the shortcuts app. Or search for where was this taken? And just like the previous tip, click Add shortcut, open the control center, click your finger down on the gray area or click the plus sign at the top left portion of the control center. Click add a control, type shortcuts, select shortcut, click choose. Now select the shortcut called where was this taken. Click in the gray area and again, and there it is. Now just tap it, choose your photo, and it gives you the exact latitude and longitude. However, this feature will not work unless you have location settings turned on. So let's go to settings, privacy and security, location services, camera, and tap while using the app and the precise location should be on. And now one final thought. I create these videos for you. Throughout my career as an IT professional, I've experienced the challenges of learning new software. It is my privilege to share with you the various iPhone tips that have been helpful to me. Most of these tips I use on a regular basis or else I wouldn't bother sharing them with you. That's why I'd love to know in the comments below if you have an app that's particularly giving you a hard time. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. And for more great iPhone tips, please watch this next video.